Hello, and welcome to Miss McVeigh's art room at Bobby Summers Middle School. Today, we're just going to be walking through the syllabus and some of the art room specifics. Um, during our class, we cover the art elements and design. All of this is available on your student's Google Classroom, and it's from the first week of school, and there's materials that have all of this in there. And you should have gotten one if you have a face-to-face -face student, they should have brought one home as well. Um, so we learn a lot of different things. We learn about the art elements and the design principles, first of all, and we incorporate that all year long. We use uh, graphite, paint, clay, just a lot of different materials so that the students, every class, every project is a little bit different so that they don't get bored. Sometimes they like it and sometimes they don't like it. So I tell them that if you don't like this project, maybe you'll like the next one, right? We really focus during the first semester on uh, two-dimensional work. And in the second semester, we, we focus on three-dimensional sculptural elements. So uh, we've got a lot of different rules and expectations. Um, our online rules, uh, if you are jumping online, we would like to be able to see you so that uh, you can show us your artwork. Most of the time during class, I have the last 20 minutes of each class period that is there as an optional live Google Meet for my students. And that is for any questions. So they can spend the first half of the class over looking over all of the things for the day if there's a slideshow or if there's a video, they can look at the instructions. If they have any questions, the last 20 minutes, they can jump into the Google Meet and ask questions live, and I can present the screen just like this. So um, we do ask that you purchase your students' art supplies. And um, at the, I'll show you in a second. Let's just go ahead and look at it. The art supplies that we ask for are a pencil sharpener with a casing, a big eraser, Elmer's glue, watercolor palette. Uh, we prefer Prang just because it's high quality, but um, that is a personal choice. Crayola colored pencils because we know that they're going to be good quality, but if you get nicer ones, have, have fun with that. Uh, blending stump, which comes multiples to a packet, and really it's just there for, for blending. If you are having trouble finding this one, don't worry. Uh, we might try and figure out an alternative to that. Sometimes you can use a paper towel, so there, we also need ruler, something that their letters aren't going to rub off on, a pair of scissors, an eight and a half by 11 sketchbook, but it could also be nine by 12. For our virtual learners, this is going to be their paper that they use for their projects. So most of our 2D work is going to stay in that format. We don't want to go smaller. A double-sided Sharpie with fine and ultra fine point. If you've got two separate Sharpies, that's totally fine. And then a poster board, a large 22 by 28 inch poster board to fold in half and use as a portfolio to store all of their artwork that they make all year. And that is just kind of a quick overview of the supplies. Sometimes we'll ask that you bring in recycled materials, magazines, things like that, or um, that in the in the spring, hopefully we'll all be back together, but in the spring, it's possible that you may um, need to come and pick up clay if it's all still virtual. Uh, we've got a class display TVs out in the hallway, and we'll be doing a variety of different art shows to be able to, to display them. It may be virtual to begin with, but uh, we'll see what we can figure out for in-person. We also do uh, competitions, and I'm looking into that right now, actually, for VASE for Region 10E. We do class critiques and try and teach the students to be able to verbalize what they did in their artwork to show us how they learned the different technique. And then discipline, we give warnings about behavior, and I'm pretty consistent about if if behavior continues during class that I write emails, I call parents, and I will write an incident, which is not a referral, but I'll, I'll document the incident in cumulative. And then if it continues, then we have that documentation to show that this is a pattern of behavior. Um, 
this part right here was just a extra three points. If you told me something about your child that you wanted me to know. And then we have 12 grades each nine weeks, at least 12 grades. And they're for the actual project. They may show up as a test grade because um, to us, that is how we assess the knowledge that they've learned because it's a very project based class. They'll get sketchbook grades for uh, taking down notes. And a lot of time the notes in art is all about drawing pictures. So our pictures are our notes because that's what they're learning. Um, they do have the ability to make up work. Communication is the key, but if it's after a deadline, there's sometimes nothing that I can do about it. So you have to make sure that your students are turning in things. I've been trying to stay on top of this every week where if there's missing work, I'll mark it as missing. So um, back to this, I'm gonna stop presenting and let you get a little glance at the art room. We've got some really, we got Jason Priestley in the background there. We have some nice access to our beautiful porch. And here is our room, just doing a quick little turnaround here. It's all nice and clean right now. There's some supplies sitting out because not all the students have gotten their supplies yet. So if you're, your student is one of those kids that haven't gotten their supplies, please make sure that you get their their poster board so that they can have a good place for their portfolio. If you are one of our students that we have had order the kit, uh, the kits, we can't order them anymore, but we are just waiting. We've had some crazy times trying to get all of our, our supplies in. We've got some just kind of trickling in a little bit at a time, and we are going to give those out this week, what we do have, and just be patient for the rest of the supplies because they are on order. It's just I think every school in America is trying to order supplies right now. So here is a quick glimpse at our beautiful porch. It's probably really bright, but it's really a neat set up for an art teacher, kind of an art teacher dream. I hope to get to meet every single one of you and just know that I have very much enjoyed your students. They are sweethearts and uh, we are having a lot of fun in class. Even my online kids, they can jump in every day and some of them just jump in just to hang out with us. So I um, hope everything's going well and let me know if it's not. How do I stop? Ha, ha, ha.